Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, just a daily video, so we're not gonna talk about uh, yesterday's um, yesterday's uh, result. We're just gonna talk about what the news is. And uh, we're gonna pick up some news from yesterday because we didn't do a video yesterday or daily news video because yeah, there was a game on. And also uh, it wasn't really some good news, but it picked up late in the evening and this morning again. So, um, yeah, we will talk about that first. Um, so, yeah, let's get, in, let's get into it. Like always, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And then we will start with the, basically the main news of, uh, of the day or of the last couple of hours, 24 hours, is Arthur. Um, he is, I don't say dead on, sad to leave, but he is destined to leave uh, this January. Um, I think... It's a weird one with Arthur. He came in. I didn't really understand why he came. Oh, understand why he came in? It was just basically balancing the books. That's what it is. Because from a pure uh, need necessity, it was a weird transfer. Um, now, what I think about Arthur, um, I don't think he's a bad player. I think he's a good player. Um, I just think Allegri doesn't like him and. That's a big problem um, because he costs a lot of money on the books um, and if you don't play him or you play him that little and you don't trust him to do something that you actually need uh, so that's basically the holding midfield otherwise to free up Locatelli basically um, again my main issue with Arthur is that he always has a big big uh, error in his game every every game basically uh, but on the ball, he's very good. The other issue I have with him is sometimes he likes to slow down to play play too much. And I know people will say, oh, but we don't play high tempo. <laughs> That's fair. But even yesterday, um, instead of playing a one-touch or two-touch, and uh, kind of Sakin and Dybala threw on goal, he hold on to the ball way too long, and he got dispossessed almost. Um, so I think... I don't say it's done... Because it's, uh, we will get into news, but I think it's if you find a replacement, it's very likely. So the news is from Romeo Cresti and Luca Bianchin. Um, so Romeo saying the offer set by Arsenal for Arthur is a loan until June with full full paid wages. But therefore, but before any developments, Juve must move forward for a replacement. And Luca Bianchin said uh, Arsenal are interested in Arthur on loan for six months. Arthur would accept the move to the Premier League. You will need to give, give give the green light uh, before signing a new midfielder. Um, now, who is out there? Who's out there? And it's cheap, or you can get on loan. And the first name that pops up is Zakaria, but he's not even mentioned. He is not even in discussion really at the moment. If we were real, he isn't. Uh, the names that are in the discussion are close to none. Like, actually, there is no name. Uh, yesterday evening after the game, and that's the Marcio's news, uh, he said, Juventus are looking at uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. If Arthur leaves on loan to Arsenal, you would do like Bruno Guimaraes and Renato Sanchez, but their price tag is a problem. So, we know we're going to loan out Arthur. We need a player on loan because the possibility of Arthur returning in the summer are very high. Like, you, you don't know. If it's a loan, he returns for sure. And then maybe if Arsenal want him, you need to uh, renegotiate the deal and all those things. So you're not sure that he's actually going to leave after the summer. So if you bring in a player now on a permanent basis and Arthur comes back, you're with, you're in big trouble. Wages -wise, wage wise and, and just squat number wise, composition wise. So we're just looking at a player on loan. Now, Ruben Loftus-Cheek for six months, I don't see it. I actually don't see it. And I know he had a few good not months, maybe maybe one month at Chelsea. I don't know. It was I think it was November, December. He actually played very good for Chelsea. Uh but he like he's not gonna I, I struggle to see him coming in and making an impact because like it's six months, mid season, new league. I don't I just don't see it. Um and again you can say that about Zakaria, yeah, that's fair. Um but it's not that Luft it's not that Loftus Cheek has playing has played game in, game out all those years that he's actually 
uh, very like he has experience, but is actually ready to do that uh, immediately, like Sakaria who plays a lot. So I, I just I, I think just names out there. Dimitrios is kind of mentioning names at this point. Um, very weird ones to be honest. Again, Bruno Guimaraes. We know uh, we're not gonna get him. Renato Sanchez. I like him, but I don't want him for the sole reason. That is kind of injury prone, and that's the last thing we need at the moment. Uh, we, we already have enough of those players, but I like him. Um, he's also kind of inconsistent. Uh, that's that's also one of his problems. Um, but yeah, Bruno Guimaraes, we're not getting him uh, because we don't have the money. Uh, it's, it's that simple. Um, so yeah, let's see tonight if more news comes out. Probably yes, but I found a weird situation. It's the 13th of January, and maybe maybe not someone will leave someone will come in i don't know it's 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 a weird situation for me uh but we'll see uh, we'll see probably more news will come out uh, today uh, this evening um and then we move on to dibala now i'll first read all the news and then i will talk about it so uh tyc sports who are kind of reliable they came out saying Dybala is angry with Juve for the change of strategy on the renewal and has report, reportedly decided not to renew his expiring contract, contract. Bearing any sen sensational change in strategy, he will be ready to listen to new offers from today. And then Di Marzo said, um, what I can say is that in the last few days Juve, Juve had, held, had told Dybala to review the figures a bit. Juve want to reflect with the player on different figures for a series of reasons, an increase in bonuses uh, part and a decrease in the fixed wage part. And then Mirko Di Natale, who is a reliable journalist, he said, on the Bala I've only received denials with respect to what has been written yesterday evening by TYC Sports. Antun, so his agent, will arrive in Italy in February. There can be no concrete news before that date, which I don't really agree on the last part. And also Arriva Bene yesterday said, like he he took kind of took a shot before the Roma game and he did basically the same yesterday um he said something in terms of like you know, number 10 you need to show it going all off of all those new, this news and what how Arifa Bene is speaking for me it's not done like you, it's very hard to believe that it's a done deal like it's dragged on so long like then it was October November then the most reliable journalist said it's gonna be before, before Christmas. Now it's the end of February. Like, it stinks. Like, it is what it is. I'm not saying that the, uh, uh, the first report is spot on. Um, because there are no actually real rumors that he's talking with any other teams. Uh, I think if that really was the case, uh, we would have had more news saying uh, or him being linked with more teams because he's a free agent. I just think it's not a done deal. Like, I think there's a lot of work still to be done. And I'm leaning more towards the Marcos news and the fact that the club uh, wants to review um, the wage uh, because it's a big wage and he's kind of injury prone. It's scary. Even yesterday when he came on, after 15 minutes, 10 minutes, he was limping uh, again. Uh, I don't know if he just took a knock, but like that, the fear is there within the club also. Paying your number 10 that much money and maybe he cannot even play most of the time. So I think the club wants to review that. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why it hasn't been done yet. But it's a dangerous, a dangerous game. The club and also Dybala is playing because he can pick up a serious injury. Knock on wood that it doesn't happen. But you've seen with Chiesa, it can happen. And then you will lose a lot of money. Um, so it's a weird situation. Um, and it's not going away because, well, he's a free agent. So it's in your face uh, every day. Uh, let's see how that will develop. Uh, but yeah, February, <laughs> according to the quote-unquote most reliable uh, journalists. And we need to go with it because they know more than us. But you can form your own opinion. And for me, it's um, it's it just sounds weird. Um, so yeah. And then we move on to the strikers. So I will first go with... The Marcos news, and he said uh, the names on Juve's list to reinforce attack are Asmun, Depay, Icardi, and Maxi Gomez. And now comes the kind of funny part. Tutto Sport said Allegri wants a Manzukic, quote unquote. Uh, 
player once scored was at the Real Madrid Valencia game for Maxi Gomez. He just scored two goals this year, but a tough number nine who's good in the air. It remains to be seen if Cherubini will be able to convince Valencia on a six-month loan. Like the names that have been mentioned are like it's all on loan. It's all on loan, so Icardi will be very difficult. I think impossible. The pie. Why would Barca send out the pie on loan when we are not giving them Ica uh, Morata? So I think you can scratch those two already away. Asmun, they refused three mil from Leon. The report saying five mil. We're not paying more than five mil uh, for a free agent in the summer. And I don't think he's really a player that the club is looking for. Oh, he can be here for the long term. Uh, and the Maxi Gomez thing. I think it's just a random name, like two goals. Yeah, he's good in the air, fine. But two goals on the season, when we need goals, when we are bringing in a striker, that makes no sense. And you can put Keane up there. Like, he would probably have the same impact, uh, goals-wise. Um, so, I don't know. It's very strange news. I, I don't think any striker is coming in. I think the only thing, if it will happen which I also think is very difficult, is Arthur leaving on loan and someone else coming in on loan. But even I think that is kind of a stretch. Like, it's still it's 18 days until the transfer market closes. I think it's still a stretch. Um, but yeah, and then for the reason why I said I don't think Osmond is a long-term deal, a long-term vision is all six-month loans. And then Romeo came out and kind of, kind of, I don't want to say kind of solidify my thoughts basically i would think and he said you will will meet with sassuolo next week to discuss skamaka for the summer skamaka is currently valued at around 40 million euros by sassuolo but excuse me if he continues to grow exponentially the price could rise so going off this news we can safely say it's going to be skamaka and this i'm not saying done deal but the main target is Kamaka. Forget about Vlaovic. Uh, that's done. Um, that was a dream. We kind of kept it alive for maybe longer than we should. But the goal is Kamaka. I think 40 mil is already a lot of money. Too much. Like we pay less for Locatelli. Who is in my opinion more talented. So that's weird. Uh, and I get that strikers will be valued more. more but like. He's not a 40 million euro striker at the moment. So it doesn't make sense. And the fact that he says it can even be more if he keeps scoring goals. That's insane. That's just actually insane. Let's say he ends on 14 goals of the season. 14 goals on the season. Like a lot of players end on 14 goals on the season. Like it's not it's not special. It doesn't pop, pop up on the screen. Like it's not flashy. Not, not flashy. It's not spectacular that you say, oh, I need to get that. Uh, that's that's unique or something like so I really struggle with this deal uh, or th with these reports I really do but going off the news it's gonna be Skamaka I think we can be pretty sure about that now um, let me know in the comments what you think about it uh, I think the other names are just I don't know loan deals but not not long-term deals that's why I don't really believe them uh, I think we're just gonna stay like this um, but yeah, that's basically the news for today. Um, not not really positive, if you're being honest. Uh, unless you don't like Arthur and you like Loftus-Cheek and you like you don't like <laughs> Dybala, and uh, the news is kind of <laughs> good for you. But just in general, yeah, not a good moment for the club. Uh, we will struggle. We are struggling on and off the pitch. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, Thanks everybody for watching and then we will see you in the next one. Ciao.